Hi, I'm Jason Williams, and I'm coming to you from Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, uh, representing here Cybers US. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of background and overview to Cybers. So, uh, what is Cybers? Uh, that's what we'll talk about in this short introduction. Uh, Cybers, as a project, has the goal of transforming science through data driven discovery. And in, in a sense, I'd really say we're a community of more than 90,000 users. Uh, all of the data that those users, petabytes of data that they've brought to the project, hundreds of publications, courses, and then of course discoveries that are enabled um, by the things that Cybers has been able to develop over the years. Uh, what we think about Cybers is that uh, we're a cyber infrastructure, and that includes a number of different things. Uh, the things that you might have come to Cybers to use are some of our platforms, different tools for doing analyses, maybe different data sets that you wanted to analyze. Uh, and of course, in, in order to do that, you need to take advantage of both the storage that Cybers provides for those data, the compute, uh, the ability to manage those data, uh, share them effectively, but also training and support. Uh, it, because in order to use these things, you actually need to get a little bit of training most likely, which is why I assume you're taking this course. And it's one of the things that we consider integral uh, to being a cyber infrastructure. So really when we use the word cyber infrastructure, we mean all of these things put together in a way that really helps you do the job that you want to do, whether that's certain types of research, uh, the analyses that behind that, and also education. So all of those things are linked into what we call the cyber infrastructure. Just going to give you a quick background because you should know a little bit about this project and where it came from. Uh, Cybers is actually old, I think, as far as some of these uh, cyber infrastructures or tools that are available. Um, it actually started as an idea back in 2006 and was actually um, funded to serve the needs of the plant science community, and that was back in 2008. Uh, the first tools come online in 2010, and as we started to grow, um, our mission and the deliverables that we wanted to uh, make possible for researchers grew. Uh, the project was renewed in 2013, and then uh, later again in 2018, as we started to see that really the tools that Cyverse was able to develop and continues to develop really served a broad swath of, of resources uh, that were required for doing uh, data intensive biology and related sciences. Um, let me give you this really broad overview of the cyber cyber infrastructure stack. So one of the some of the key components, we won't cover all of these in this course, um, but it's at least nice for you to know that they exist. And as you become more advanced in your use of Cybers, uh, you may then want to delve into some of these other things. Um, at the top layer, they're what we call our products. And these are the ready to use platforms. The one that we're going to focus most on in this uh, course is the discovery environment. But underneath that are things like the data storage, which we call our data store. Um, there are also other things as you start to get more advanced, like the science APIs, continuous analysis platforms, etc. Underneath that are all of services. Most of these things are things that you don't necessarily want to think about in detail, um, but you're always glad that they're there, even if you don't know that they're working for you. So those are things like our authorization, authentication, to make sure your data are secure, that you can log in, um, that you can share those data with other um, collaborators. And there are various other things that um, really control and manage the computational resources uh, in, the, in the best possible case, so you don't have to do that yourself, that it's all taken care of uh, for you on your behalf, and it kind of just works nicely together. Beneath that are the raw foundational capabilities like the cloud systems, the high performance computing, the data storage, all of those different things. Um, long story short, uh, you have a lot of capacity when you come to use Cybers, and we try to make that as easy for you to use as possible. For those of you who are power users, you can actually uh, touch and go into customizing those things a little bit more than the average uh, bench biologist might want to do at first, uh, but those are all there for you. And so as you want to know more about Cybers, I encourage you to check out the documentation that's available in all those services. Um, another important thing is that this particular online course uh, that's meant as an introduction to Cybers is actually really a collaboration between Cybers UK, Cybers Austria, and of course where I am, uh, in the U.S. representing Cybers UA, uh, USA, particularly myself at Cold Spring Harbor, as well as our collaborators and colleagues at University of Arizona and Texas Advanced Computing Center, which is part of UT Austin. Uh, so 
In this course, you'll have the ability, and there's a little tip in the documentation, to switch and view the version of documentation that's most appropriate for you. So if you are using the Cyverse UK or Cyverse Austria, uh, you'll get something out of, for example, my video in terms of the background, um, but there will be some specifics, and so you'll be alerted to those and be able to um, do that as you go throughout uh, the course. So quickly, just to sort of sum this up, what are some of the key benefits of using Cybers? Uh, the first one that we've focused on the most is ease of use. Most of the tools and services that you'll come to Cybers to use don't require the command line. We know that probably 90% plus of the tools that you need to use in order to work with um, data intensive biology, most of these things are command line tools. And we know that not everybody starts there with that expertise. So we've really made those things much easier to use by embedding them in the discovery environment. And so you can use them in a web-based graphical interface. We also provide support and learning materials, training opportunities, and all those things are designed to help you uh, really have an easy time or as easy as possible uh, using these tools and services. The other thing that's really amazing about uh, Cybers is collaboration. Um, it really is easy to, uh, to uh, share data and analyses within Cybers. Uh, and you'll learn that in this course, but in its simplest instance, you literally can take a one terabyte data set that you have, type in the name of the people uh, who should be able to access and see those data, and essentially instantaneously give them access. And that is something that really makes collaboration um, possible. Uh, it also means that because you're working across a common set of platforms and tools, you have the ability to be much more reproducible uh, because things that you do in one place in Cybers uh, or in one country as a collaborator or a state or an institution, whatever, however you want to parse it, uh, you can do elsewhere with your collaborators essentially simultaneously in a, in a common set of, uh, of tools and a common system, common platform. Uh, although those things are being used on Cybers, they are also quite portable because Underneath, we're making use of not things that are entirely custom, um, but uh, things that uh, can be run on different systems. I'm not going to talk here about Docker and containerization, but for those of you who are familiar with those terms, essentially, it means that you can take the things that you do here and use them uh, on your laptop, on your local institution, uh, etc. Of course, you, you may or may not have the same types of compute capabilities underneath, but essentially, uh, the work is reproducible and not... Uh, uh, sort of wedded to Cybers in a way that you couldn't do it elsewhere. And finally is really that power and flexibility. So coming to Cybers means that you have access to cloud, HPC, and these may be things that perhaps you don't have at your own institution or you don't have certain capabilities, uh, as well as the data storage. All of those different things are things that you can come to Cybers and make use of, uh, including also tool integration, although we won't cover that in this course in any great detail, you can actually extend uh, what Cybers does by installing new tools uh, yourself or asking for help in, and getting some of those things up and running. So we really make use of those resources and we also benefit from our collaborations with projects like Exceed and Jetstream to really make these things possible for users who want to do a little bit more.